Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Cindy Byer, and with me I have Tyler Green. Welcome to today's amazing workout. So before we start, it's I need you to go and grab some toilet paper. I'm sure you all have been stuck at this point. If you don't have access to toilet paper, um, paper towels will work. And if you're on carpet, you'll want to grab a paper plate instead. So if you have hard floor like I have, this can be your toilet paper or paper towels. And if you are on carpet, you'll want a paper plate. But I've got an amazing workout for you today. This is the toilet paper workout that everybody should be doing. And so if you have kids, have them run and grab the toilet paper and we'll get started. What you're gonna need to do is you grab a roll that's kind of been used a little bit and grab a couple sheets off. So you'll grab this one because this one hasn't been used yet. So, Grab a couple sheets off. If you're a two-sheet person, try to go one higher than what you normally use, right? Two or three, you want two sets of that. And in addition to that, you want to have one roll that has not been utilized yet, right? So it's still solid. Otherwise, it'll unravel. Now, if you don't have access to a roll that hasn't been used yet, no problem. Just understand that it might unravel as we go. All right, you guys are ready to go for the ultimate amazing toilet paper workout that you can do at home during this quarantine and anytime you want. Um, it's a way to use the toilet paper that you've all stocked up on. All right, so what we're gonna do first is we're gonna take your toilet paper. So I have three squares, I use Charmin, um, but you can use Northern, whatever kind you want. And I'm gonna fold that three square in half. I'm gonna place it down at the end of my mat. Then I'm gonna do the same thing with the other. It doesn't have to be exact or perfect, but approximately where my feet may end up going. And then I'm going to have this other roll. So then I'm gonna to turn to the side so you can see what my body is doing. I'm gonna place my heels onto the toilet paper. Then from there, what you'll do is you're gonna take this roll and place it just at the base of your pelvis here. So if you don't know where that is, if you take your hand across your lower back and you slide it down until it hits the floor, right where your hand is, like this, is where the back part of your pelvis is going to be, where I want you to place the toilet paper. What's great about this position with this toilet paper that smushes is it's going to help us learn how to do some of these exercises without putting all of our body weight into it. So we have to use more of our stomach or our abdominal muscles. So you're going to place this here. Just softly touching it. Then from here, you're just going to curl your pelvis under slightly to get your lower back just to hit that, right? I'm not lounging around into it because then I'm gonna switch my toilet paper and I have nothing else to use later on. Then I'm gonna sit up tall. So I'm gonna move my arms out of the way so you can see what my back is doing. So I'm gonna roll my pelvis under until my lower back hits, and then I'm going to sit up tall. So there ends up being a little space at the end of it. So I'm gonna roll my pelvis under, and then sit up tall. This is the best exercise for you to do if you wanna get rid of those lower abs. So by a show of thumbs up, hearts, or comments below, feel free to let me know if you really want those lower abs worked, because I'll do those at a lot of the workouts, and I'll do them in the future as well. Rolling back, and now, and if you haven't gone over to YouTube yet, I'm uploading all of these live videos over to my YouTube channel, so please subscribe. I need 1,000 subscribers, continue to roll back, by the end of this month, and one person who subscribed is going to get a free virtual training with me, one-on-one, -on -one, like through a Zoom call, or FaceTime, or WhatsApp, whatever works best for you. Roll back and hold here. Now from there, I'm gonna have my arms lifted here. Then I'm going to reach and slide one heel out. You see how that toilet paper slides nicely on the floor? If you don't have toilet paper, like I said, go and do the other leg. Use a paper plate. If you're on carpet, you'll need a paper plate instead. If you don't want to use up all of your toilet paper for this, the three sheets that you have and the one roll, you can use paper towel. You can also use coffee filters. That works as well. I'm holding this half roll back as I'm straightening one leg out. What I'm doing with that is it's activating more into my obliques to prevent my body from twisting and turning in the process. Now we're gonna make it a little bit more challenging. 
what's going to happen is I'm going to straighten my leg and then I'm going to turn towards the side of my leg is straightening. Still roll back into that toilet paper roll here. Then I'm going to roll back up. Then I'm going to rotate towards the other side, still rolling back into that roll. So it's almost like you're trying to prevent yourself from falling down onto that roll. But my lower back is hitting it. And then up. And then let's do one more here. And then up. And then sit up tall from there. You're going to take this toilet paper roll. Let's do a little bit more abs real quick. And we're going to move it up just a little bit higher. So where I am positioning it is just below my ribcage. And I'm going to roll backwards ever so slightly. I'm going to scoot forward so you can still see me in the video. Without lounging back onto it. Right? So come up a little bit higher, Tyler. So scoot your body forward a little bit more. Yes? And you don't want to lounge on it. You've got to just lay back and act like you don't want to touch it. Now bend your knees and place them back on the toilet paper um, sheets. So if you're going to hold yourself here. What you'll feel right now is how much your abdominals have to work. Tyler's okay. He has his hands out here for some balance, and that's perfectly fine. You can even put your elbows down for balance. That's perfectly fine as well. Now take both legs and reach them out, and then slide them in. What you'll notice in this movement is how much more you feel your lower abs working, and your full abdominals, all of your rectus abdominals are working, trying to prevent you from sinking and collapsing into that toilet paper roll that you have. Alternate one leg, so one leg goes out, and then swap. But what I like about this move is it's really working all of the abdominal muscles, from the obliques, transverse abdominals, and the uh, rectus abdominals, without straining the neck. And oftentimes when people try to lift their head and shoulders up to get access to those rectus abdominals, their neck hurts a lot. So this is a great way to do it. Very good. Now come up and sit up tall. We're going to add on and move on from here. So you're going to take the toilet paper roll now. And you're going to take it, instead of having it this way where you can see through that hole, you're going to flip it upwards so that the roll itself, the hole, is coming vertically. You're going to then take that and place that between your legs. Then you're going to roll back behind your tailbone until you lay all the way down onto the floor. Then from there, your hands will be just gently by your side. And you're going to lift your hips up, holding that toilet paper roll between your legs. Not squeezing tight, roll back down. So what the toilet paper roll is doing here, it's giving you a tactile cue for your adductors or your inner thighs to work. It helps to get you out of all of your hamstrings so that your glutes and your inner thighs start to work in this bridging position. Typically, what happens is when people do the bridge, they go all in and then they get those hamstring cramps. Like all of a sudden they drop down and grab the back of their leg. If that's you, I know, give me a thumbs up, give me a heart, let me know that you tend to do that. That means you're a hamstring grabber. I want to help teach you how to use the glutes and your inner thighs to help hold you up in this bridge. And then lower down. Let's do two more. So the Toilet paper roll, all that is is giving your body a cue to say, hey, inner thighs, I need you to hold on to something so that you can help stabilize my pelvis as I'm lifting it so my hamstrings don't have to do all the work. Yes, for those of you who don't know, I do animate different parts of my body. So I'll sit there and I'll act like my abdomens or my inner thighs are their own person. Lift up again. And then lower down. Let's so go ahead and take the roll out for right now and just set it to the side. Your feet are still on the folded up sheets. Now from here, we're going to do the same move, pretending the roll was there. I'm going to lift up from here. Pretend that roll was still between your inner thighs. Now from here, you're going to take one leg from the heel and slide that heel out. Try not to tilt the pelvis. See how my body turns? I want to stay nice and neutral. Now pull that leg back in, and then lower the hips down. Now mind you, if you feel your hamstrings grabbing, go ahead and fall, lower down, take one leg, stretch it out, whatever you need to do, and then regroup with us. Go ahead and lift your hips back up into that bridge, and then slide the other leg out. It doesn't have to go all the way straight. My leg is going straight, but I don't have to. I'm more worried about keeping this level. 
and then bend that knee in. Lower down. Let's do that again. Lift your hips up. Reach one leg out. Pull that leg in. And then lower down. One more on the other side. Lift. Slide out. Pull in. Lower down. Now, if you want to challenge yourself a little bit more, you can take that other roll. Position it right under your lower back, right here. And then from there, you can slide both legs out and come in and slide both legs out and come in. Slide the toilet paper roll out and go down. So if you want to, go ahead and try that with me. If you want to stay with what we were doing, you're going to alternate one leg, then the other, and then lower down in between. So if you're coming with me, take your toilet paper roll. I position it right at where my pant line or my pant, the waistband is. So it's not up in my lower back. It's just behind my pelvis. You'll feel kind of where if you lay down all the way on it. Now, I'm not squishing down. I'm just hovering on top of it. But it's giving me a cue to say, keep my hips lifted. Now, from there, you can do it with one leg or with both. You're going to slide the leg out and then pull both legs in. Now, I'm screaming. My hamstring is like, oh my gosh, what am I doing? Because my hamstrings like to take over. Now, reach back out. So what do I do is I think my inner thighs have to pull and my glutes have to pull to bring my legs back in. Do one more here. Anybody else have their hamstrings working here? I can sure feel that leg curl happening. Take that toilet paper roll out and lower down from there. You guys hanging in there with me? Awesome. All right, so go ahead. From here, what you're going to do is you take that toilet paper roll again. Now, my toilet paper is getting holes in it. If yours is too and you want to change that up, you can take another toilet paper roll or some more um, squares of it, or I'm just going to leave that for right now. I might change it out a little bit. I'm going to take this again. This time, instead of having it vertical where the hole's at the top, I'm going to have it this way where the hole is facing horizontal. And then I'm going to place it this time, instead of between my knees, I'm going to place it a little bit lower down, right below my calves, between my lower legs. Then I'm going to lower my body back down onto the floor from here. So from here, what I'm going to do, I don't wait for Tyler to get down. You can scoot forward if you want to, that way your head is on the mat. And then what you're going to do from here is you're going to lift both legs up. Very nice. And then bring both legs down. What you'll notice is as light as the toilet paper roll is, just by putting that toilet paper roll between your legs, it creates more of a challenge on the body. What I feel is as my legs lower, it wants me to pull up like this. Like I feel this tension. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to open my arms to the side or place them behind my head when my head is down. And I'm really going to focus on keeping my ribs pulling towards my pelvis to help support the weight, the added weight of that toilet paper roll. As light as it is, it makes that much of a difference. So if that much weight, which is very minimal, creates that great of a challenge, we wouldn't necessarily need to put five or 10 pounds in there because we have like, what, a couple ounces? And if it challenges me enough there, I'm not gonna try to lift heavier weight from here. Very nice. Hold the legs up. Now this time, I'm gonna place my hands here. If I want to, I can lift my head and shoulders up or I can leave them down. And what you're gonna do from there is reach both legs back and both arms go in the opposite direction and come back in. And reach both legs out and come back in. Now, I don't want my legs to go down so low that my lower back starts to arch. I want to keep them up where I have control. I don't want to ever lose that control. And if I feel like I need to, I'm going to lower my head down. And I can do this whole move with my head and shoulders down. But if my head is down, my legs have to go higher or it goes right into my lower back. Go ahead and take a break for a moment. Now, Lift your legs back up, and you're going to have the legs straight. If you have nice flexibility in your hamstrings, your legs will go all the way straight. If you feel a lot of pull here, just hold them bent slightly, and that's perfectly fine. Hands come behind the head, and then you're going to just lower both legs down, and then lift them back up. Again, 
The focus is on, can I keep my back in this neutral position with, and support it without my lower back falling or lifting up? So as my legs go down, my pelvis wants to pull my back up. Can I use my abs to keep my spine imprinted into the mat? Go ahead and do about three more. And then two more. Let's do this. Let's exhale as you lift the legs up. Inhale through your mouth as you lower. And then exhale as you lift up. Bend your knees and take a roll out. And then roll over onto your side. So I'm going to roll onto this side because I'm going to take advantage of having this toilet paper sheet here. So you're going to lay down on your side. And you're going to take the toilet paper roll again where I'm gonna have you have it vertical, where that hole is on the top, and I'm gonna place it between my ankles, like so. Let me see, let me move on camera a little bit more. Then I'm gonna take my arm and place it down onto the toilet paper sheets on the floor, and right now I'm going to stretch that bottom arm out and lay down from here. Then I'm going to lift my legs and lower. I'm going to lift, and lower. So right now I'm getting into those obliques. I'm lifting and I'm lowering. Lift and lower. It might be hard to balance on the side of your hip and that's okay. If, if you need to, feel free to move the toilet paper roll a little bit higher towards your knees or have your knees bent as you're doing that. That's perfectly okay. Again, what the toilet paper roll is doing is giving your body a cue to say adductors or inner thighs, you need to be doing something to help support the lifting of the legs as opposed to just using my obliques to do it. All right, now from here, the reason this hand is on this sheet here is because I'm going to add into it. So what I'm gonna do is use my arm down here, slide my arm in as I lift. My legs are also lifting at the same time. And then I'm gonna lower down. And I'm going to use the toilet paper roll and slide in as I lift and I lower back down. Now again, if you don't have a toilet paper roll with you and you're using paper plates on the floor, feel free to put a pillow between your legs. It'll do the exact same thing as what the toilet paper roll is doing. Try about three more. If you're feeling your obliques, give me a thumbs up real quick or a heart if you love getting rid of those love handles because that's what we're trying to do right now. Lift and lower. Let's do one more here. Up and down. Very nice. Go ahead. You're going to switch sides. So from here, we're just going to slide our mats so that we still have a little bit of the floor space to use. Place the toilet paper sheet down. And again, toilet paper roll, pole is pointing forward here and I'm going to lay down on my side and I don't want to kick over the big container of my Charmin because I need that. All right, so I'm going to lay down on my side here and again from there I'm just going to lift my legs up and down. If you notice my feet, my feet have this tendency of turning in, that's called sickling. I don't really want to do that. I want my feet to stay wide apart. So I have to, I personally have to really think not to let my toes rotate in. It's a lot of hard work for me to do to make sure that that's what's happening. Up and down. Again, we're working right here on those obliques. So if you start to wobble, don't worry. That's the oblique saying, I don't know if I really want to stabilize anymore. But you pushing through and saying, yeah, I think I need you to do some work for me. Do about two more here. And then we're going to add in the additional oblique crunch when we bend sideways. So now we're going to take this arm that's down, and we're going to slide that arm in as we lift our legs and come up to the side, and then lower down. And lift, and lower. So inhale right here. So inhale through your nose. Then exhale, lift yourself up, and then inhale, lower yourself down. Let's do three more. Exhale as you come up, and inhale as you lower. Again, your inner thighs are working, and you don't even know why. It's so stupid that it's this hard, because it's not like you're really squeezing that toilet paper roll really hard, or that that toilet paper roll is difficult to hold, because it's not heavy. Go ahead and rest right there. Go ahead and sit up for me from this position here. 
All right, so now from here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our toilet paper um, sheets and bring both of them down onto the floor in front of you here for your hands to be on. So I have a hole in one, so I'm gonna fold it over a little bit so I have a little bit more on the floor. So I'm gonna go here. Now, Tyler's gonna probably go down onto his elbows if he needs to. Um, he, has a, he has a compromised wrist, so holding his hands like this are a little bit difficult. So if you see him go down to his elbows, are you okay? He totally can do that. You can do that as well. Right now, what we're gonna do from here is just simply slide the arms out, hips go back for this nice long stretch of the body. And then come back up. And let's do that again. So you're gonna come down and stretch there. Notice that my shoulder is coming backwards and my wrists are going in front of my shoulder. And I say that because when we go to the next move, that's not necessarily going to be the case. What's going to happen here, and I'm gonna scoot forward, is what's gonna happen here is I am now going to bring my hips forward and slide my hands forward with me. Then to come back out of it, I've gotta move my hips back first and my arms slide with me. And it's important to understand what is leading. On this move, I'm leading with my pelvis as opposed to my arms. The first move we did on our hands was leading with the arms. Now, I'm going to lead with my pelvis. So my pelvis pushes forward, my hands follow along, and I lean forward. Then I'm going to pull back with my hips and slide my arms with me. What I'm doing is really grabbing into those abdominals. I'm going to lean forward here. Now, if I want to challenge myself more, I can now move my arms a little further out. Move my arms back as my pelvis moves. Do that three more times. If you've ever seen, I don't know if you've ever seen those ab rollers where it has this wheel on it and it has these handles and you roll out and you roll in. That's what we're mimicking. It's, for, it's, it's the cost of two sheets of toilet paper. That's all you really need. I actually have one of those that I got when I was like 16 when I worked for Champ Sports. And my kids, for some reason, thought it was fun. And when they were little, they'd hold it like this with this wheel and run around with their head down, rolling that wheel around. So it can be used for a lot of things, but so can toilet paper, as you're seeing today. Go ahead and come back out again. Let those hips come out with you here. Now, this time, I'm going to have you round your spine and pull back in. See how my spine is flexing? Then I'm going to flatten out my back, lean out, round the spine to come back in. And do that one more time. Flatten out the back, lengthen out, going into that nice long line, and round the spine to come back in and take a rest here. We're going to add into this in a little bit of a different way. We're going to do more of a push-up type position. You can do this on your hands, or Tyler, you can do it on your elbows as well, like we did the other day. So what's going to happen? I'm going to bring these this way so you can see what's happening with my hands. I'm gonna scoot back just a little bit so you can see a little bit better. What's gonna happen is I'm gonna hold the short plank position as you can see here. Then all I'm gonna do from here is I'm going to bend my elbows. As I do it, I'm widening my, my arms out. So you see how my hands move? Then I'm gonna move my hands back together, right? So what you'll see is my hands widen out as I bend the elbows and come back in. So as you'll see Tyler doing, he's doing it perfectly. Whoops, I'm going in front of him. Um, he's opening his arms out and his chest falls down, just like I'm doing with my push-up position. All right, now, where this move really comes into play is on the upward action. So I'm coming down, and then I'm going to pull my body up and my arms come together. So I can't put a whole, all my weight in my arms because I need them to move. If I anchor into my hands, I'm anchoring into my arms, and if I anchor into my arms, I can't move my arms because an anchor holds things still, right? So I have to keep all my weight into my core. So when I do this move, I'm gonna open my arms to the side. I'm gonna pull through my abdominals and my spine, keeping it neutral as I come up. So now, I'm gonna turn back this way. So now that you understand that position, we can now either stay where we are in this nice, hip over my knees position, 
But if I want to challenge myself a little bit more, I'm going to move my knees back a little further and my pelvis comes a little further forward. I'm not even in a full plank. And trust me, on this one, you're not going to want to. But what's going to happen is my elbows are going to go out to the side and I'm going to bring my chest down. So when I go to come in and up, I'm going to slide my hands in and up. And if you're doing it on your elbows, no problem whatsoever. You can do it there too. But again, you can't put all the weight into your hands. You have to pull it through the center of the body to do this move. Otherwise, I won't be able to move my hands. Let's do two more. Out and bend. Pull in and lift. And one more. Out and bend. Pull in and lift. And then just stretch back from there. And sit up from here. We're going to grab our full toilet paper roll one more time. And we're going to take that and this time place it between, let's do it between, um, let's put it between your legs. And so I'm going to go here, so it's going to be in that position here. Then I'm going to come back into that plank position. Again, you can be on your full hands or on your elbows. Either one will be fine. I'm going to bring my hands out so I can go into more of a plank position. You can choose to either do it in the short plank position where you're just lifting your knees up. That's perfectly fine. So go ahead and do that first. Lifting your knees up from where you are. Or you can do it by straightening your legs out. And again, you can do it on your forearms if you want to. You don't have to be straight armed. So if I did it on my forearms, this is how it would look. I'm coming down here and I'm going into my full plank here. That is perfectly okay to do. Either position. It's not one is harder than the other. It's just different. In this position here, my core has to work so much harder, and the muscles around my shoulder blades have to work so much harder when I'm on my forearms. When I'm in a full arm plank, when I'm here, I have to work a little bit more into my triceps and biceps to hold this position. Whereas when I'm down on my forearms, I have to work a little bit to my shoulder blades. So both are great exercises. Now from here, all you're going to do is rock back towards your toes and come forward a little bit. Do three more. Three, two, one. Drop the knees down. Come back and rest. Grab your toilet paper roll for one final stretch. Sit whatever's comfortable for you here. Hand is going to be touching the top of the roll. Now we're going to use it as a roll. It's kind of lopsided now, but that's okay. Arm is going to come up. And I'm going to roll the ball away as I bend over towards that side. And then I'm going to come up, roll that ball in. Sit up tall, bend and reach. Like I said before, this is going to be posted up on my YouTube channel probably within the hour. If you have friends that missed it, feel free to link them over to my YouTube channel. Um, remember to subscribe. You'll get updates on all of these videos, these live videos, switch sides. And you'll also be alerted once I start loading up the whole content of what I've been working on for the last week. Arms come up of different how-tos. Also, I am looking for you to give me some guidance on some things that you might be interested in finding out more. So for example, I'm doing a video on how to help reduce sciatic pain. So if you have different areas of your body that are hurting, tell me that. Message in a comment below here, or even on, you, on my YouTube channel, go ahead and message or comment there. If you don't want to do it publicly, send me a private message. One more here. Or if there's a specific type of exercise that you're like, I've been trying to figure out how to do this, even if it's in the gym, and you're like, I don't know how to do it properly, let me know. Do one more here. Let me know in a comment below or in a private message, and I'll be sure to include that in the content that I'm putting online. For now, thank you guys so very much for joining me today for the amazing toilet paper workout that everybody should be doing. Remember, share it with your friends. Love, give me a thumbs up or a heart. Share the link to the live video or to my YouTube channel, Cindy Byer, Pilates and Massage. Thanks, guys. Bye.